The people's main event, it's a term that's rising in popularity in the UFC world, and what it is, it's a fight that's not the top of the marquee, but many people think could or will win fight of the night. We have one half of the people's main event with us now. Al Iaquinta getting ready to face Dan Hooker, co-main event UFC 243. Chael Sonnen joining us as well. Al, I saw when you came in here, you had the cell phone out videoing the arena. What's your first reaction to Marvel Stadium? I was looking at this stadium, just uh, impressed how, how far I've come, you know, from a little Rahway rec center in New Jersey, my first amateur fight to this. It's, uh, it's incredible. I got to tell you, gentlemen, I'm a little bit underdressed. I had no idea you guys were going to show up like I knew he models, was going to bring so, it. So just I'm... so you know. But by the way, as Phil's talking about people's main event, Al, this is a tough guy contest. If somebody said Ally Quinn is the toughest guy in the UFC, nobody would argue with him. If somebody said Dan Hooker was the toughest guy in the UFC, nobody dismisses that as a bad statement. Is your strategy going in this at all about position, or is this just you hit him, he hits you, and 15 minutes later, you hope you got to the target more often than he did? No, I think this is this – is probably going to be the opposite of that the, the tough guy thing should cancel itself out and this is you're really going to see who the better fighter is and uh i think all day in every sense of the word i'm, I'm just a, a better more technical fighter up and down well dan hooker's a guy who he's five and one since he moved up to lightweight four finishes excuse me four knockouts in those five wins three in the first round when you're facing a guy who is a fast starter like that how does that affect you uh you know I'm, I'm not really too focused on what he's, do, what he's done and what he's doing. I'm really just going out there and, and working my game plan. Uh, he, he does have a lot of dangerous points to his game, so I'm taking that into consideration. But uh, as far as this fight goes, I'm, I'm working all my attributes. All right, in a different direction, it seems historically that anybody at 155 pounds like yourself who fights in a feature bout on a pay-per-view immediately gets called out by Conor McGregor. Should that happen to you? And I'm going in a totally different way. Should that happen to you? What's your response going to be? Well, we'll see what happens. If that happens, I mean, he's been – I don't take anything he says to heart because at, at this point he's really just kind of uh, made a joke of the whole thing. He, has, he hasn't fought. He hasn't won a fight in three, four years now. So, uh, you know, I, I'm worried about the, the fighters in this division. Um, I'm worried about that title. I think right now uh, this fight against Dan Hooker is a great – uh, opportunity to position myself with a dominant performance, something that I know that I'm capable of doing to, to get back to that title shot. You fought in Australia before. You knocked out Ross Pearson in Sydney in 2014. What did you learn about the time change and travel and training halfway across the world that you've been able to implement to get ready for this fight this week? I think it's just... I'm comfortable here. I've done it before. The first time I was a little uncomfortable, but it ended up turning out great. This time I got out here a little bit earlier, uh, got acclimated sooner, and it, it, uh, it just it feels comfortable. I've, I love the Australian people. I love their mindset. They work hard. They play hard. I think that's very similar to how I am. So I, I always feel comfortable in Australia. So, Al, uh, your opponent called for this fight. I mean, Dan Hooker not only called the location, he called for you. And in your entire career, nobody's ever called you out. Guys fight you when they have to fight you. Why does he see it differently? I think he saw me as a high-ranked opponent that didn't have a, a fight lined up, and he made the mistake of, of saying my name. Uh, Australia, he, I, maybe he didn't think I, I was going to accept it that easily. You know, uh, I think the UFC didn't think I was going to accept it that easily. But I love Australia. I love, uh, I love fighting in front of these people. This is a, an amazing stadium uh, in a great part of the world. And it's, he's a tough fighter. It's, it's an it's a intriguing fight. No beef, me. no beef, though, where you guys saw each other in the back and, you know, exchanged no, no, nasty looks. He just said your name one day and you that, said, that, I accept. That's it. Cool. That's it. And they, I think they wanted – there is a, show, a, a fight in Madison Square Garden. I think they were trying to get it to be, be there. I, I don't know what it was, but I just – who am I to make stipulations? You, you said – you called me out. I just said yes. That was it. And I'm going to give him exactly what he wanted. Al, last question from us. This week, we talked to Dan Hooker on this show, and he was very respectful of you as an opponent. That hasn't always been the case with guys you faced in the past. Which do you prefer as a professional mixed martial artist? The guy to come out and talk trash or a guy who, once it comes fight time, is a little bit more respectful? It's good either way. I like it either way. If, if, if a guy's uh, jabbing at me a little bit on, on social media or in interviews, it makes it a little more interesting, gets – probably gets the fans involved a little more, but I think a fight like this doesn't need that. Dan Hooker goes out there. He's, he's uh, like you said, he's, he's won spectacularly in, in the lightweight division, as, as I have. And I think it's, uh, it's going gonna, gonna to be a great fight for the fans. 
Al Iaquinta, co-main event Sunday here, UFC 243. Al, thanks so much and best of luck in the fight. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.